Welcome to House of Judah, the Cathedral of Praise, a place where your potential is released and your destiny maximized. You have been called to greatness. A dynamic destiny awaits you at Palm Croy House, 387 London Road, Croydon, CR03 PB. Your host, Bishop, and this is Michael Huttonwood. Where God isn't, there is no vision. And where there is no vision, the people perish. And where there are no people, the vision perish. Environment is important in manifestation of your potential. Join us every Sunday from 11 a.m. and your life will never be the same again. Releasing potential. Maximizing destiny. House of Judah. The Cathedral of Praise. Where your potential is released and your destiny maximized. From the Leaders Factory comes Leadership Secrets with Dr. Michael Huttonwood, designed to help you maximize your potential with principles that guarantee proven results. Knowing and cultivating certain attitudes about yourself will give you the mindset you need to develop your leadership potential to the fullest and fulfill all that you were born to do. Join Dr. Michael Huttonwood for Leadership by Creativity, Principles for Success, Secrets for Creating Change, and much more. You are born to lead. Jesus came to restore you back to leadership. Get back your leadership position. Let the earth know that you were here. Join your host, Dr. Michael Huttonwood, a man on a mission, and experience a destiny-changing encounter with today's message on Leadership Secrets. So tell your neighbor you are what you think. As a man thinketh, so is he. And that's Proverbs 23 verse 7. And then Ephesians 3 20 says, You are God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. So God is able to do what we ask and is able to do what we think. God is able to do what we ask and is able to do what we think. So we're speaking on the subject, think big or die small. Think big or die small. If you can think it, you can have it. He said, in Genesis, nothing can stop these people from doing what they have imagined to do. You imagine things with your mind. John 10, 10 says, his, God says, I came that you might have life and have it more what abundantly. <clears throat> Joshua 1, 8 said, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you will meditate. Think on it. Think again. Think, think, think. You don't get what you do. You get what you think. It starts with thinking first before doing. It starts with thinking first before doing. It starts with thinking first before doing. If you can think it, then the faith arises for you to be able to what, do it. Now, the thinking must be generated from information that you have got from what God has said. Because what you hear is what you think. Yes? What you hear determines what you think. What you think determines what you say. What you say determines what you see. What you see determines how you behave. And how you behave determines what you become. So everything begins with what you hear. So what are you hearing? So you must be hearing the possibilities from the word of God. To know what you are capable of achieving. It begins with what you hear. What you hear determines what you think. What you think determines what you say. What you say determines what you see. What you see determines how you behave. And then how you behave in correspondence with the above determines what you ultimately become. Think big or die small. 
3 John 2 says, I wish above all things that you will prosper and be in health as our soul prospers. Deuteronomy 8.18 says, It is he that gives you power to create wealth. It is he that gives you the empowerment to go get it. He empowers you to go and get it. Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3, he said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law they see what? Meditate. What is another word for meditate? Think. In his law. If you meditate the word, nothing is impossible to you. If you, med if you can think it, you can have it. Thinking it. I see myself speaking with prime ministers. I see myself writing five books. I see myself writing this book that we are, we are uh, dedicating today. I see. Somebody saw. Somebody thought it, said it, saw it, behaved it, and became it. That's the process. So nobody, you can't blame your church. You can't blame your mother. Your mother can't think for you. Your father can't think. Your, even your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, cannot think for you. If you can think it, whether they believe it or not, it will motivate you to act on it to see it. So, the thing begins with what you are thinking. And you can't think on an empty head. Because information is a fuel for vision. <laughs> information transforms. No information deforms. Glory to God. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water whose leaf does not wither. And whatsoever he does shall prosper. Remember this, Acts chapter 10, verse 34, that God is not a respecter of persons. But in every nation, somebody say in every nation, including London. No matter where you are or where you came from, your geographical background, God is no respecter of persons. But in every nation, anyone who fears him, and walks uprightly before him, is accepted by him. So God is not a racist. God is not a respecter of persons, of race, or color. God is only a respecter of his word. God is colorblind. When you find that truth and you walk in the consciousness of it, you get what you want. God is colorless. God is colorblind. Is colorblind. So people are not poor because they are black. People are poor because they are blind to what they need to know to succeed, irrespective of color. God is colorblind. Say colorblind. colorblind. You may know many people or many members, many mentors, but God does not need connections. God has no uncles. God has no what? Uncle, God is God. He doesn't have any relative above him. God is God. So when you have God, God is all you need to have all your needs met. If you can think God, you will see God and the works of God. God is all you need. You don't need people. People are a byproduct of what God does. But when it comes to your destiny, people or no people, if you can think it and activate it, you will see your dream come to pass. Amen. That is what will happen to some people here. Amen. I said that is what will happen to some people here. Amen. He is no respecter of persons, but in every nation, including African countries, including Haiti, including Burma, including Syria, Libya, Chad, Egypt, Everyone that fears him and walks uprightly in any nation is accepted by him, irrespective of color or background. Are we all here? Yeah. He, he who fears him. There is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same God over all is rich unto all. Romans chapter 10 verse 12. 
the same God, I'm beginning by creating a foundation for you to realize you qualify to think big. When you enter my office and you take a seat, what is the first thing you read? Think only big dreams here. If you are coming to tell me about fish and chips as your vision for life, get up from the chair. Tell me something nobody has heard of in your family before. Tell me nine books in one year. That's what I want to hear. Tell me you are thinking global market. That's why the father, you have just released a product. Am I talking? Tell me you are thinking of Amazon.com and Amazon.co.uk. What do you have? Only 10 books. Glory to God. That's what I want to hear. Don't tell me you are going to Surrey Street only. Start there, but don't stop there. Dream only big dreams here. If you can dream it, it will motivate you to do something about it. And by the time you realize you are handling it in your hand. That's somebody's story here. That's somebody's story here. That's somebody's story here. From the author of negotiating your desired future with today's currency, and I shall rise again, comes the latest manual set to redefine 21st century effective ministry. You don't build a ministry on people's gifts and talents. That is not the primary. You don't build a church on the pastor's gift of working of miracles. You build a church on the way. Introducing four dynamic manuals that will not only teach and inspire pastors and leaders in ministry, but raise and train members to become fully matured sons and daughters in the kingdom. Dr. Michael Huttonwood from the Leaders Factory introduces the one series featuring Academy 101, Ministry 101, Leadership 101, and Pastoral Leadership 101. Joining the congregation to become a member or a worshiper is not enough. Learn foundations for Christian living, effective membership, and much more. You must move further to the next C, which is committed. So you have community, crowd, congregation, then you have what? The committed. And then some move on to get into what we call the core, which is the core of leadership. Keys to effective ministry, including principles of leadership. You are born to lead. Jesus came to restore you back to leadership. Training materials from the School of Impactful Pastoral Leadership and much more. Be fruitful with your gifts. Multiply your gifts. Replenish the earth. Let the earth know that you were here. The 101 series. A must for your library. Order your copy today. Please call, write, or visit our website using the information on your screen. Prosperity is not a citizen of any nation, so you don't have to change nationalities. You don't have to change your passport. You don't have to move from one village to a city or from a city to a village. You don't have to move from UK to America or from America to UK. You don't have to go to EEC. Prosperity is not a citizen of any nation. No nation has monopoly over prosperity. <laughs> Are you all here? My English is coming up. Nobody has what, no nation has what, monopoly over success and prosperity. No nation. So, <laughs> you are not disadvantaged because of your country. You are disadvantaged because of your country up here. Here, here, your country, this country here. <laughs> Prosperity, therefore, is not a citizen of what? Any nation. The same Lord over all. Let me hear you say that. Say the same Lord. The same Lord over, all over all is rich, is rich. Unto, all. unto all who call on him. Call so anyone who calls on him is entitled to God's prosperity. True or false? Anyone who calls on him and does the scriptures is entitled to it. So you don't have to become a UK, an American or European citizen, before you enjoy true prosperity, because prosperity is not a citizen of any nation. So listen to me now. You are not disadvantaged. You are not underprivileged. 
You were just ignorant of all you needed to know, and so you were taken advantage of. People don't fail exams because they don't know it, nothing. They fail exams because they don't know enough of what they needed to know to pass the exam. So when you don't know enough of what you need to know, you fail the exams of life. Are we all here? That's why you must study to show yourself approved. People fail exams because they don't know enough and due to wrong priorities. So all you need is brighter light. Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3 says, Arise and shine for thy light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. And he said, Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings shall come to the brightness of thy rising. So you shine in life by light. Arise and shine for thy light has come. So you only arise and shine by the light available to you. Are we all here? Yeah. The light is the word on every issue. You shine by light. Say you shine by light. You shine by light. So you are not poor because you are black. You are poor because you are blind. People are not poor because of the color of their skin. People are poor because of the color of their mind. They decorate and show off their libraries, but they don't decorate their mind, which is the seed of Seat of productivity for wealth creation. From the book we are dedicating today, you discover that people, there are people who are decorating their libraries, but they are not decorating their mind. That's why they are poor. All the books that they need to read, to become, to act on, to become who they're supposed to become, they are displaying it to everybody who visits their house. Look at my library. Look at this book. I collected it from Saudi Arabia. This one was the one the Sultan of Brunei gave to me. This was the one when I met the queen. He gave me as a memorable whatever because I, I fought in the war. Look at all these books now. Do you know the contents of this book? No, let's talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Look at how fine the place looks. That, now, we don't need it to be fine on the shelf. We need to be fine in your head. <laughs> the books don't have to stay on the shelf for decoration. That's what you learn from this book. It's not, your library is not supposed to be a decoration. The books in your library must be used to decorate your mind. For as a man thinketh from his mind, so is he. He creates his world from what he uses, from the information that he uses from his mind. You are getting there. Amen. You are getting there. Amen. So people are not poor because of their color, geographical background, geographical location, no. People are poor because they don't know, have rejected, have forgotten, don't practice the covenant, or they are guilty of all. Hosea 4, 6, my people perish for lack of what? Knowledge, or they have forgotten it, or they have rejected it. There are three things you do with the word. You don't know it, number one. Number two, you know it, but you don't do it. Number three, you have rejected it, or you don't do all three. <laughs> you won't be in that class. Bishop Abiyoye is known to have said, to be poor in mind. Is to be poor on earth. Listen. You see, no matter how much you keep giving money to a poor man, if you don't decorate that poor man's mind and teach him how you generated that money which you are giving him, that man remains poor. No matter how much you give to a poor man, if you don't teach that poor man to give, that man remains a perpetual beggar and raises perpetrators of beggar beggarliness. To be poor, not to be poor in pocket. Listen, not to be poor in pocket. To be poor in mind is to be poor on the earth. So your prosperity does not begin in your bank account. It begins in your mind. That's why 3 John 2 says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health as your, your prosperity begins in your soul. Your soul, begins, your soul is made up of your mind, your will, and your emotions, that's your intellect, your feelings, emotions, and your will. So, prosperity begins in your soul, one faculty of which is your mind. So, prosperity, if your soul is prospering, if your mind is prospering, it will reflect in your bank account. It will reflect in your bank account. You see, nobody must call themselves poor. It's an anathema, it's an insult to God. Poverty is by choice. After you have heard what you need to do and you are not doing it, poverty is literally by choice. Everybody born here has a gift. 
And it's your gift that makes room for you. That's your gift that you add skill to and use to add value to people. It's what demonstrates. It's what determines your wealth-creating ability. Some use their mind to create, to earn 10 pounds an hour. Some use that same mind to make 1,000 pounds an hour. What is the difference? You know, in my book, How to Negotiate Your Desired Future with Today's Currency, you need to go back to that book. You determine that God created both the poor and the rich alike. It's God has not, you see, people are not poor because God selected some people to ask for you, you'll be poor forever. And some people, you'll be rich forever. No, they all have seen eyes, but some of them are not looking. My point is, you can make money from. <laughs> look, no kululu we o. You use your. Look, in my new book coming out, there's a law called the law of observation. You see, you learn two ways by what you see and what you hear. What when you are walking around, open your eyes, look, observe, learn, open your eyes, open your wealth is around you. After this conference, you will see things. Amen. I say you will see. You be. A, You'll be walking around and something shall walk around for a long time. You'll be amazed at what you see from. May the Lord open somebody's eyes today. I said, May the Lord open your eyes to see. Receive that unction right now. Now that it's available, receive it now. Ah, eyes to see, eyes to see, eyes to see, eyes to see, ears to hear, ears to hear. Not just your physical eyes, not just your physical ears. Ah. To be poor in mind is to be poor on earth. Did you get that? It didn't start from your pocket. It started with your mind. One of my senior brother said something to us at the conference I attended, a minister's conference, and I got something from it. And I think I mentioned it to my wife recently. God does not expect us to live on salary. He pays wages. Scripture says the reapers of the harvest are paid wages. When you are serving God, he pays you. Salary is what you get at your job. Wages is bigger. God pays wages. See, the wages of sin is death. The wages of righteousness is prosperity and the other thing. God does not pay salaries. He pays wages. Salary comes monthly and weekly. Wages come daily. Every day you are making profit and you are adding value. You see, get it. I'm trying to get I'm not trying to stay here. God pays wages. Say it with me. God pays you don't, as a believer, you shouldn't live on salary. On what they pay you at your workplace alone. No. God must give you seeing eyes, hearing ears, thinking mind to be creative enough to make money daily. Daily. Salary is what they give you weekly, monthly. But if you are adding value to people daily like Bill Gates, every day, some kind of money, money or wealth creating ability is coming to you. He said, it is he that gives you power to create wealth, not he who pays you salary. Salary is for the world. Wages are for the believers. To be poor in mind is to be poor on earth. So your poverty was dictated by your mind. Because my mind was not decorated. So my salary that I was getting from Ghana, the thing was finished before they pay me. But if you are adding value daily to people, oh, you are making, you are creating wealth daily. That shall be your story. Amen. To be poor in mind is to be poor on earth. So every form of poverty is traceable to poor and idle minds. Did you see that? Yes. Hey. Every trace of poverty, every poverty you see is traceable to poor minds and idle minds. Poor mind in a sense that that mind is not rich because it's not learned nothing. And idle, lazy minds, not being decorated with anything, is gossiping. Cha cha cha. Anytime you are reading a sound book, you are decorating your mind and you are creating wealth. <laughs> when was the last time somebody read a book? And not a book that just decorates your emotions and makes them just, you know. Sandra, James left Sandra. <laughs> now, some people cry. Let me come out. Some people cry and make money from crying. 
you when you cried from watching that film? What did you get? Oh, I think that was a good one. You have clapped for me. Some people cry and get money. When you cried, what did you get? The Leaders Factory, a leadership development institute, Bible college, and music academy designed to help you maximize your potential. Equipping men and women in every field with intensive bite-sized seminars, training, and courses. Learn prescriptions for maximum productivity. And cultivating certain attitudes about yourself will give you the mindset you need to develop your leadership potential to the fullest and fulfill all that you are born to. Courses include certificate and diploma in leadership, music and ministerial studies, and much more. Join Dr. Michael Huttonwood and well-equipped lecturers and professionals as they teach you principles that guarantee proven results. Courses run from January through December throughout the entire year. Call 0208-689-6010 or email to register now. Classes are in session. He is a man on a mission. With a mandate to raise generational leaders. Called to set in order the things that are out of order. And to bring leadership development, human capacity building, and wealth creation to all. Welcome to Maximizing Destiny with Dr. Michael Hutton Wood from the House of Judah, the Leadership Factory, raising generational leaders, impacting the nations. And now, here is Dr. Michael Hutton Wood. Join us at House of Judah, the Cathedral of Praise, every Friday from 7.30 p.m. for Power Nights and Sundays from 10.30 a.m. for our celebration service, and your life will never be the same again. At Palm Croy House, 387 London Road, Croydon, CR03PB. Also watch us on KICC-TV, on Sky Channel 594 for Leadership Secrets and Maximizing Your Destiny series on Sky Channel 593 Faith TV every week, Monday through Saturday. Your host, Bishop Michael Huttonwood. Where God isn't, there is no vision. And where there is no vision, the people perish. And where there are no people, details are shown person. on your screen. Please call 0208-689-6010 or visit www.houseofjudah.org.uk for more details. Thank you for tuning in to Maximizing Destiny with Dr. Michael Hutton Wood from the House of Judah, the Leadership Factory. Raising generational leaders, impacting the nations. We hope you have been blessed.